Ну что ж, этот эпизод будет по-русски. Приветствую вас к еще одному эпизоду программирования игр. Я думаю, так будет называться по-русски. Um, это 50-й эпизод, и он, знаешь, я думал, что я сделал что-то особенное для этого эпизода, потому что, ну, все-таки 50-й, это половина 100, это большой номер. И так что я, я подумал, что я как бы первый, первую минуту этого эпизода будет по-русски, просто так. Потому что много из вас там эм, переживали, что я, я русский, почему я по-русски не говорю, все такое. Так что эм, я подумал, что, ну, знаешь, просто так. Просто для, для удовольствия сделаю первый, первую минуту этого эпизода по-русски. Так что наслаждайтесь. Если, вы, если вам нравится этот эпизод, нажмите лайк и... Um, ну, что там еще я могу сказать? Все. <laughs> так что да, я надеюсь, что вам понравится этот эпизод, и что... Я, я просто так думаю сейчас, что никто другой не сможет понимать, по что я говорю, потому что ты же не можешь как бы написать там на интернете, на, на, на интернете, на интернет и перевести um, это на русский, потому что это же не, не слова, как бы, а звук. Так что никто, никто не сможет узнать, что я говорю тут. А кроме того, если один из вас русских переведет ему. Но anyway... Окей, okay. я сказал английское слово, я не имел... Я, 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 я вообще-то когда, когда um, говорю по-русски с родителями, потому что я так говорю по-русски с родителями, обычно они знают английский, но все равно мы как бы, мы как бы на, на обоих говорим, um, понимаете? Как бы получается, что и по-русски, и по-английски, поэтому um, я иногда говорю английские слова, пока я говорю по-русски, но в общем, да, это будет конец этого этого русского части, потому что никто не понимает, что я говорю сейчас, кроме, кроме вас. Так что да, надеюсь, что вам понравилось, и давай продолжим с эпизодом. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Achuno, and that was, yeah, that was totally in Russian, that first, like, minute or so of this episode. This is episode 50, so I thought I'd do something special. But yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed that little, uh, that little Russian uh, at the beginning of that episode, of this episode. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna take a look at animating our player. So what we've got right now is, if we take a look, we've got this static sort of animation. It doesn't really, it doesn't really cycle through the different frames. And if we actually look at our our image of King Cherno, provided by uh, Andy, Wall, Andy Wall, of course, um, you can see that we've got sort of like three phases of animation here. And basically today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at Uh, cycling through them. So the first thing we need to do, if we come into our sprite class over here, of course there are several ways of doing this. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna cut to the chase, to cut to the chase, not do any like really like experiments or anything. I'm not gonna experiment with different uh, different ways of doing this. I'm just gonna get straight to the point, show you guys the easiest way of doing it, and then maybe in the future I might mix it up if you guys want me to in like a, an advanced section, I guess, of the series, something something like that. But um, yes, yeah, so first thing we need to do is actually, I guess, import um our players. So let's just make a new uh, sprite. So I'm in the sprite class here. So public static sprite and we'll call it player. Um, well, we'll, uh, we'll just call it player play, player forward and then we'll just go underscore one and that'll that'll be like that'll be this one. So the one that's under the original this one. Um, so that equals new sprite. Of course the size is still 32. Uh, X is still zero, but instead of the player forward being, um, oh wow, we've got the name wrong. That should be back. So we'll just make it with like capitals just so it doesn't, um, oh, it didn't work for factoring. Hang on, let me just save this. Back one. Factoring can't be formed to do syntax, okay. Our syntax is wrong, so it doesn't want to refactor. All right. So we'll just call it back with a capital B just for now, because we can't rename it to something that's already taken. So we'll call that forward and then we'll call that back with a log SP. I'm just pressing Alt Shift R. We can also go right click, uh, ref, uh, sorry, right, right click, refactor, and then rename. See, Alt Shift R. Um, and that'll just rename it everywhere for you. So, um, so yeah, whoops. Got this little bar up here. Not sure how to get rid of that. Um, anyway, <laughs> so um, play forward will contain um will basically be the same as this play forward so 32 zero it's except instead of five it'll be one lower so that's the y coordinate remember so it'll be six and then of course it will be it's gonna darken here i'm gonna turn my backlit uh razor blackwood ultimate but turn that backlight on so i can see what i'm typing uh because i like to see what i'm typing um and play forward two right and then play forward two will just be even lower 
Okay, so wait, so let's just let's just use that and it's actually spreadsheet.files. Uh, let's just use that and see if that works first before we move any further. So let's go back into our player class. And all I'm gonna do an update is I'm gonna make basically a variable a variable that just counts up for us. So let's just make private int anim. I'll just call it anim. That'll just stand for animate and we'll make it zero to begin with. Um, and basically every tick, every CPU cycle, um, every time it actually runs this update method, which isn't every CPU, it isn't actually every CPU cycle, it's like 60 times a second. We'll just add one to anim. And um, just for safeguarding, because if someone does run the game for like, keeps it on for like over overnight or something, this can lead to a crash since the integer variable can only carry so many numbers. Just to safeguard it, we can just say that if anim is actually less than, let's just say, like we don't, we honestly don't need it to count. Let's just say past um, 7,500. I don't know, I just made that up. <laughs> if it's less than 7,500, we, we count it up. Else, we'll just set it equal to zero. All right, makes sense. So in other words, if our if if the anim variable is actually greater than seven thousand five hundred, then we'll set it back to zero and we'll start counting counting up again. Okay, cool. Then I'll just make sure that it doesn't go to like a a, a quadrillion being like a, a quadrillion big if someone actually just leaves a game open. Um, yeah, you always gotta got always think ahead. <laughs> so and one other thing that we need to do right here in terms of variables is actually pro uh, make a variable for if we're walking or not. So boolean walking equals false to begin with. So in other words, if we're pressing a key, we're walking. So walking is it gonna equal true here. And if we're not uh, pressing a key, then walking is unequal to false. Okay, cool, sweet. Glad, we're glad we got that out of the way. Um, so now let's take a look at this thing. So what we're gonna do over here is um, basically, basically, I love saying that word, of course, basically and essentially for the win. Um, basically, <laughs> there it is again. Um, <laughs> if 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 anim is equal to a particular like factor, so in other words, if anim is like, I don't know, every odd number that anim is equal to, half the time for example, then let's let's use one of the animations. Alright? It's a bit of a bit of a bit of a stretch, but um we'll take a look at how that works. So So if walking and remember we want to do this after sprite is already being assigned, because um, it's doing a chronological order. So there's no point assigning a sprite there and then reassigning it to before, that's not gonna work. So if walking is actually equal to true, um, we also, not only does walking have to equal true, but also, um, and, um, uh, not really. Um, are we gonna do sprite flips here? I'm not sure. Let's, let's do it this way. Let's just do int walking and then we'll do another if statement here. Um, if, if anim, let's just say it's um, the remainder of, let's just say 20 equals zero. Um, we can do something like that. that that'll, no, no we, we want it to be even. So maybe greater than 10. And I'll explain this in a minute. Um, then we can make sprite equals sprite dot player forward one. Um, you know, else we'll make it play forward two. All right, so let's take a look at that. See if that works. All right, sweet, look at that. Awesome. So um, that's how that works. We didn't really need to do that. We could have just done sprite flipping. I might do that next episode, so like tomorrow, um, I'll show you guys how sprite flipping sort of works um, because we obviously didn't need to do this since it's literally just flipping it. Um, but yeah, that's how that works. So let's um, let's finish up the rest of the sprites and uh, and we'll call it a night. <laughs> I'll call it a night. It's getting late. It's like ten to nine. Um, my sleep schedule is actually back on track. I'm going to bed at like ten to eleven p.m. and waking up at like eight eight a.m. or so, quarter to eight, because um, because I got some big projects to work on that I'm actually um, basically I've got a nine to five job to be honest, full time. So that's, um, that's what's been going on with me. So yeah, it is actually getting late. <laughs> I mean that with the utmost sincerity. Uh, let's, let's, let's hop back into Sprite. And we just need to do the rest really. Oh, we will have to do flipping, won't we, because of... No, no, we won't actually, because um, it'll work the same way it does here. But I'll still show you guys how to do flipping in the future so we can make obsolete some of these things. So side, and then there's back. So, back. 
So of course, if we uh, open our sprite sheet back up, we can see the side is just below the side, I guess. And then the back, uh, sorry, the back, no, that's, that's the back. The back is just below the, um, the original back sprite. So if we look at the original back sprite, we can see that that's at two comma five. So which means that these will be at two comma six and two comma seven. And that play aside, that was originally at one X. So that'll be one comma six and one comma seven, just like that. So let's hop back into our player. Um, and you can actually play around with these numbers. I'll actually explain them in a minute, I forgot to. But um, let's copy all that. This is like the simplest possible way of doing this. I don't think there is a simple way. Uh, let's copy all that. And we'll pop it over here. So if direction is equal to one, Um, so we'll make player, so one means that we're going left. So player side one and side two, and we'll actually copy that because we've got two sides to our player, a dark side and a bright side. Uh, but no, we do have two sides because of course we've got this flip here. So there you go. And then the back one is of course this one. It's when we're going down. Mayday, mayday, we're going down. Uh, but seriously, we are going down. Um, does that work out well? No? Something's wrong? Something's wrong with our syntax? Did I miss a... Did I really miss a... I don't think so. No, that looks pretty legit. Huh. Looks like we are missing, um... Maybe we've got... No, no, we have to be... Wow, we're definitely missing something. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing a circular bracket. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what you call them. But it seems like we are missing a circular bracket. Oh, well, let's just sort out the syntax. So what's the problem here? We got that. We got the else bracket. Oh, here we go. That shouldn't be there. Okay. Sweet. So um, we'll change this to player uh, back. And player back. Okay, so let's, check, let's take a look at that. That works, that does not work, that doesn't work, and that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. All right, so we obviously messed something up there. Um, oh, of course, three should be side, my bad. What have I done? What have I done? Um, that should be there, and that should be there. Take a look at it now. So that's side, that still doesn't really work properly. That doesn't work properly. Side, so side, there's a problem with side, but, um, that same time. I love how his head bobs up, bobs up and down. That's adorable. Um, okay. So, and you can see that if we stop walking, the animation doesn't actually stop. And the reason it doesn't stop is because we've forgotten this if walking thing that we used to care so much about. So, um, let's pump that back in. Uh, flip should be outside of there. I'm worried, I'm actually kind of wondering, okay, good, that stops. I'm actually kind of wondering why um, the flip isn't working here. Because it should be. Um, the sprite should just get flipped. Maybe something's wrong with play. No, no, because no, there's obviously a problem because it's not working here either. It looks like, oh no, that's just the animation. That's actually what the animation looks like. Doesn't look too good. All right, Andy Wall, get on it, fix my damn animation, bro. That looks very broken. <laughs> but yeah, um, other than that, guys, that is episode 50 of Game Programming. Hope you enjoyed it. That is how you animate your uh, thing. I almost forgot to explain this part, actually. So this is the way that this works. Animation, right, it's a number, and it's growing in size all the time, daily, not daily. Every, um, 60 times a second, it's increasing, right? So it's going up by 60 every second. Uh, at least it should be. <laughs> and then basically what we're saying here is that whenever it's, uh, f like whenever, if you divide it by 20, sorry, if you divide it by a number and you get the remainder of 20, so in other words, that means every 20, like multiples of this number, whenever, um, whenever anim is a multiple of 20, um, and whenever that remainder is like greater than 10. So in other words, every, it's almost like half the time really. Um, then we'll change the sprite if, if it's that. And then half the time when it isn't that, we'll make the sprite that, okay? And then this, this, this is here just to safeguard it in case something goes wrong. 
And that's how all of these sprite works. So I hope you guys understood that. This is quite a long episode, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Programming. Um, Andy Wall, if you're watching this, get back on fixing my sprite. I expect an email ASAP, bro. Um, I'm, I'm just kidding. I sound like a really mean person, don't I? You know I'm joking, right? I'm just having a bit of fun with this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Game Programming. If you did, please hit that like button. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode. Later, guys. Thank you.